from Vermont. We made it. We got in last night. The car driver in the dog. Oh, there's the a dog in the driver's seat of the car. Are you going to room room, sir? Vroom. Yeah. You can drive to me the car. Um, we got into Vermont last night around like eight and we just got McDonald's and chilled in the hotel room. And this morning we got up. Everything here opens around like 10, so we kind of had a leisure morning. But we just stopped at what might be the cutest coffee shop I've ever been to in my life. 100%. Like the books, the vibes, it was just so cute. We went to Uncommon Coffee Co. I think we're in Essex. Yeah. And then now we're gonna drive to Stowe for like the late morning, early afternoon and just kind of explore Stowe because a lot of you guys said it was just like a half day kind of town. And then we'll drive back to Burlington for the like evening. Another fun quick trip with Carter and Matt. Mm -hmm. But we're heading to Stowe. It's about 40 minutes from here. I think Essex is on the way. We just kind of like veered off a little bit but we're heading to Stowe for the day I guess and then we will be on like Church Street and stuff tonight to see all the lights in Burlington but let's head to, to Stowe. Stowe. Literally something out of a Hallmark movie. cutest place in the world absolutely adorable we went to go stop at a bagel shop but it was closed but all the stores stores were so cute here we got i'm gonna do another shadow box like we do for everywhere we go and then we got an ornament for the tree and then we got a sticker for one of matt's co-workers and then we got this one for our little photo box which i'll do when we get back and then it's like one of those i don't think it's a comfort colors but it's just like that kind of like worn vintage look but i love the color of it and the back says Stowe, and I love this color. It's just so cozy and soft. So we got that at the general store, but now we're gonna head up the mountain to one of the resorts that one of you guys recommended us go to and probably get lunch there because we wanted to go to this bagel place, but it was closed here. Um, the place that we're going to is the Lodge at Spruce Peak, which I'm pretty sure it's probably, like the skiing part is actually closed today because it's a little warm out. I don't know, we'll see, but. Yeah, the the resorts are like I don't know, 15 minutes from the town, but I'm really living I'm living my best life so far, truly. How do you how do you feel about this day so far? 10 on 10. 10 on 10. I mean, we started great with the coffee. Yeah, so. seriously. All right, we've made it to the mountain. Oh my goodness, there's Bat said he saw people skiing. There's the gondola. <gasps> Look, the Skyliner. Sounds like an alarm in the background. It's really weird. But I just changed into my new sweater and I have I turned a light on because it's super dark. It's currently 2:45, but it's about to rain, so we're just coming back to the hotel for a sec to like chill. 
I'm gonna finish my sandwich because I only ate half of it and just like take a breath for a second. I don't know, we like to do trips just like, this is like a very like low key trip. Like we're just putting around. We don't really have a plan. I just have a list on my phone of things that we want to do. That thing is so loud and annoying. And yeah, Matt, what was your favorite part today so far? Even though, still was a lot yeah. of fun, it was very Christmassy. Yeah, still was really cute. Even just walking around outside, it's just very like wholesome and I love Vermont. Matt and I's toxic trait is that anytime we go somewhere, we want to move here. Like we're like, let's move to Vermont. It's so cute. But I think our plan, I know we were going to go to Church Street this afternoon, but it's supposed to rain. So we might flip our plans around and maybe just go to like Walmart, Target, Barnes and Nobles now while it's raining. And then tomorrow, since it's supposed to be nice out, I don't think it's going to rain. We will do like Church Street and like the waterfront trail and stuff in Burlington. But this evening, we're definitely going to still go to Church Street, even if it's raining a little bit, because I want to see everything lit up. So I think we might just kind of go to some stores in the next little bit, unless it stops raining. And then... We'll probably make our way to Church Street for like something for dinner, I'm thinking. And then that way we can see like the Christmas tree lit up and whatnot. And I'll bring my GoPro. That way I can get footage in the rain of like all the Christmas lights. And then maybe tomorrow we'll also go back to Church Street during the day, grab a coffee. There's a um, there's a space themed coffee shop here. So obviously we have to go there tomorrow. So I think that'll be our plan. I'm trying out the L'Oreal Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Serum and I really love it because I have really dry skin and I can't really find a BB cream or tinted moisturizer or foundation that doesn't dry me out but this is amazing. I really really love it. So that's my little update. I'm gonna finish my sandwich. Look at how amazing this is. Oh my goodness that place was like a little hidden gem. Matt got a chicken like Caesar wrap. It looked so good and then I got this like ham and brie sandwich. Oh my goodness, on like a French roll. So good. Guys, I'm obsessed with Target. That's so cute. That's so cute. Look at this, look at this, Um, what is this called? Like the towels you put on your thing, but look, it has the recipe for hot cocoa. Are you shitting me? That's so fucking cute. Look at these little houses. Oh my gosh, look at these mini trees. I'm so sorry, you guys have to put up with this. A Canadian at Target. Cute, all this Christmas stuff is. Are you Look how cute. Such a pretty candle. Ten dollars. You're listening to ENN or Elf News Network. Oh my gosh. Look at these cute ornaments. They have Boba Fett. They have Boba Fett? <gasps> Do they have Mando? They have Mando's right here. Okay, you guys, we just came to Barnes & Noble. Guys, it's literally two stories tall. I've never seen a bookstore so big in my life. I'm, I'm screaming. Good morning from Battery Park. We are exploring Burlington for the morning before we head home this afternoon. And we got coffee at this cute little like galactic coffee shop called the Cosmic Grind. Matt just went to the bathroom. Never mind, Matt did not go to the bathroom. Is it locked? It's locked. Uh, we'll keep probably just walking around because all the stores open at 10. Our plan is to just do a little bit of like shopping and whatnot. What is that? Are you trying to figure? Is that a? No. Is that a whale? No. It looks like a whale. I know, but it's not. It's not moving. It's so beautiful with the mountains in the background and the water. This is what I thought was a whale. I'm gonna try and zoom in so you guys can see it. This right here. 
It looks like a whale, but obviously it's not because it's not moving. Okay, hello, we're home from Vermont. I wanted to give you guys a quick recap on our trip because in usual Carter and Matt fashion, it was just a little chaotic, which is how we do trips around here and just give you guys some tips and things we would have done differently or we will do differently next time we go back. So the weather didn't really work in our favor. A lot of our nighttime activities, which is what I was most excited about, got rained out. So the full day that we were there, which was the first day of this vlog, we had plans to stay in Stowe and Spruce Peak until the evening and probably have dinner there. See the lights and the resort and the lodge all lit up at Spruce Peak at night. And then also when we drove back into Stowe, we would see those lights. But our plans just totally shifted because it ended up raining for the whole evening. Obviously left Spruce Peak, Stowe, and the Trap Family Lodge at like two so that we could be back in Burlington before it started raining. And because of that, we didn't get to see any of that at night as well as we really didn't get to see Burlington much at night. I have like literally a two second clip on my GoPro, which you guys saw of the big Christmas tree on Church Street lit up, but it was super rainy. And even my GoPro just had like raindrops all over it. And yeah, I'm honestly, I was really, really bummed about it because that was one of the big things I wanted to do. And I was like, this isn't going to be a Christmassy vlog in Vermont if we don't do that. But I think a huge part of going on trips is you know it's really about who you're with with which i know it sounds so cheesy but we still had a really really great time and we made the most of what we could make the most of if that makes sense so yeah there's definitely a lot more nighttime stuff to do like you could skate at spruce peak you could obviously walk around church street at night but the rain unfortunately you know rained out our plans literally so i think next time if we go i would do spruce peak in the evening which is the lodge because there wasn't really much open when we went on sunday during the day even though people were skiing so i was bummed about that we also tried to go into the lodge and we couldn't it said hotel guests only like i don't know if we could have gone in and just walked around anyways but a lot of you guys said the lodge was decorated really cute for christmas but i didn't want to get in trouble so we didn't go in um and yeah and then our next day which was monday it was just super cold and raining off and on which the cold is fine like we we packed jackets and we were ready for that weather but it was just raining on and off which was just kind of annoying because we had wanted to do a lot of outside stuff that day and a lot of burlington that day so we walked around a few stores on church street but honestly not a ton and everything was open on monday too everything opened at 10 but it just was like really rainy and gross out so i really wish we could have had more time on church street to walk around the stores and like i said see that big christmas tree at night but we ended up leaving around lunchtime because we didn't want to hit traffic on our way home because it is a three hour drive home so we did tj maxx and then the christmas or the country christmas loft which was so fun i highly recommend anyone do like that was so exciting but definitely would have done some things differently on our next trip. But like I said, we can't really help the weather. It is what it is. And we definitely made the most of the time we did have there. But I just wanted to kind of come on and explain because I definitely feel like there was a lack of like nighttime fun Christmas stuff. But we still had so much fun and we definitely want to go back again and explore some different parts of Vermont and yeah, overall it was a really, really fun, quick trip. Oh, honestly, two days max is probably good enough like a day in stowe and then a day in burlington we also wanted to do the ben and jerry's factory which is on your way back from stowe to burlington but it was closed sundays and mondays so i definitely obviously would have done that as well because hello we love ice cream but that was closed too so 
like I said, I feel like we planned a good amount of things and we had a pretty good itinerary of things to do. Like it wasn't really rushed. We didn't have like a ton crammed in. Like I felt like we were going at a leisurely pace, but uh, the rain kind of had other plans for us. So yeah, but that is the end of the Vermont vlog. Like I said, we definitely will be back. We absolutely fell in love with Vermont. And I said in the video, our toxic trait is anytime we go somewhere, we just want to move there. Like I think Vermont is just so our vibe and yeah, I really, really want to go back maybe in the fall next year, but I want to come on and kind of explain because I feel like the vlog was a little on the shorter side, but it still was a really, really fun trip and I hope you guys enjoy the vlog. Bye!